Welcome back. Since technology is always changing, there's always a lot to talk about. So we've brought back all of our tech hosts, Kayla, Romaine, Lou, and Abid, to discuss the latest. Hey guys. Hey, hey Catherine. Pretty good, pretty good. Thanks for coming back. So first off, I read a really interesting article in the Globe and Mail the other day, one that I think we can all relate to. So we all know how texting has become like a huge thing. I can't even imagine a time uh. when I didn't used to do it. <laughs> so the article is basically dealing with texting etiquette or texticate. A little word I crafted on my own. Do you guys like it? Very uh, clever. Maybe yeah. maybe it'll become mainstream eventually. We'll see. Try. Anyway, <laughs> basically the article was saying that there's you know a time and a place for appropriate texting, and some people don't like it if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and the other person is always on their phone. What do you guys think about this? It's a relevant issue. I mean, it definitely happens. Well, um, it's very relevant. <laughs> very. <laughs> just so used to it yeah but I mean yeah. personally I don't really get offended by it but I can see how some people might you know well you know what it's better than getting up and taking that phone call at least you I know when you, uh, when you let's say you're in a meeting and you know you get a yeah. phone call you can just text the person back you know I'll call you in 10 minutes or whatever yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think that's reasonable that's you know that's okay yeah uh, but where you know if it's a consistent thing that's always happening yeah then it kind of gets annoying definitely yeah, yeah, for sure. Or if you're at like a nice dinner with someone yeah. and then you're on, you know, I mean, obviously yeah. that's inappropriate. Yeah. So I think you just got to draw the line somewhere, you right? Really do. My whole concern with the whole texting thing is that people now are using the, the abbreviations and the, the <laughs> language as, as a way of speech in terms true. of talking yeah. in everyday oh, life. Yeah, no, and like, true. true story, no lie, I heard somebody, instead of actually laughing, they said they LOL. Said LOL. No. They said LOL. No, no way. No way. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> they, said, they said LOL. That's no, it wasn't me. It wasn't you. <laughs> that's the worst one I've ever heard. Instead of Laughing out loud. Yeah, she said LOL. Like They're I was like, with somebody else. That's so funny. Oh. She's, like, she's like, oh my god, LOL. Oh my god. Uh, not okay, not okay. So that's a little scary. The tech world yeah. is infiltrating our regular world. As long as you bit. can draw that line, you can say, okay, this is texting and this is, you know, yeah. a conversation with somebody, then, you know, it's fine. Makes sense. Yeah, and I know all the teachers hate it, right? Oh, yeah, because sure. everybody's yeah, spelling you like you yeah. and yeah. using yeah. all these short forms, and it's totally ridiculous in school and essays and stuff like that. They're actually doing it in school. Oh, yeah. It's become like a big new concern okay. with teachers so okay so let's avoid that and we'll be okay <laughs> moving on another new thing that we're going to talk about today everybody is always talking about youtube there's always a new funny video or something that you know gets everybody talking now here's some news in another youtube direction they just recently did a test run of a live stream feature yeah. for two days you know i think a yeah, little I bit heard, about i heard this. about that it's yeah. um it's similar to what like if you stream and all those other providers are doing right and right. so i guess youtube is just trying to add it to their repertoire just yeah. to kind of i guess you know, jump on the band jump, yeah jump on the band for sure right what, what do you guys think about this do you think it could I actually really become it. i don't see what the big appeal is because yeah. those live shows are probably going to be recorded and you can watch them on youtube yeah. whatever you want like every other video are they going to so be shows on I, like tv I don't shows know. i don't know there, there's a difference between you know watching it live and watching it you know watching yeah. it you know 10 hours later or 20 hours later because yeah live, life's different right it's a different element to yeah. it yeah yeah. I think it's more so catered to the user. I think yes. the user will have the opportunity to stream uh, things live. Yeah, uh, and so people, people can, can tune do. in and, and watch. So you know. I, I thought if it was going to be shows, then maybe there should be a subscription. Yeah. No, I think right. it's more, yeah, like Romaine said, I think the goal is to make it so that eventually users can, you oh. know, as like a video blog or mm -hmm. something like that, yeah. they can use it in that I think, sense. I think the moment they start charging for services oh, on YouTube, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. that's it. Turn away that's from that's, right. that's, that's, away, they, yeah. that's what built, the, you mm -hmm. know, YouTube is yeah. just yeah. to be able to broadcast yourself for free. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. so it's still kind of in the testing stages. I guess we'll see kind of what happens with that. We'll I see it as a new opportunity to uh, embarrass yourself. Yeah, it definitely is. That's exactly what it is. I think that's. That's a great point. All right, so moving on. It's safe to say that almost everyone has a Hotmail email these days, or at least has had one at right. some point in their lives. You know, some people use school emails, students, other people mm -hmm. use Gmail, or their ISP provides an email address, but Hotmail is definitely pretty dominant. So Yahoo Mail is trying to get back in the game. I guess they've seen their numbers decrease substantially because people just aren't using it as much anymore, right? So they're going to revamp their email service in hopes to kind of get their user numbers up. They've said the new email service will be higher performance, have a sleeker design, and be connected to Facebook, so you can update your status through your inbox and you know different features like this. But I mean, what do you guys think? Would people really switch their email address just so they could update their Facebook no. status? Yeah. I hope it hasn't come to that. You know, I'm surprised Yahoo's still alive. Yeah, <laughs> I thought they would have died out a long Me time. Me too. I, I use Yahoo. What? Well, that's uh, yeah. That yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> oh, you little young whippersnapper. Oh, <laughs> what do you God. know? Yeah. I actually, okay, speaking of age, I actually got my Yahoo account back when internet was text. Oh. Yes, I'm that old. What did that what? Oh, right. It was text. <laughs> yeah. um, anyways, that's pretty old school. So I know, I mean, Yahoo was the first email account I ever had, I think, yeah. when I was like 12. And that was, you know, yeah. back in the day it was fine, but it just didn't really keep moving forward like yeah, the other that's ones exactly. did. Exactly, that's the problem. They just yeah. were stagnant. Yeah. yeah. And for like Gmail to come up and, and do such yeah. crazy mm -hmm. things, like even now they have the ability to make phone calls from your Gmail account yeah. to, really? la to landlines and mobile yeah. phones. I didn't know about that. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, just, oh, so, cool. just in case you want to check it out. Yeah, maybe It's I free will. until yeah. uh, the end of the year. You can make uh, calls in Canada and the U.S. for free. I I'm sorry, do you work for Gmail? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> they found out. No, all no, right, no. All right, but it's, all right. it's actually a really cool tool. It's yeah, really no, yeah. that actually does sound like something worth checking out. So Yahoo Mail, we'll see if it makes a comeback. Personally, I'm not no, going to no. put any money on <laughs> it. Sorry, Lou. Don't think so. Sorry, Lou. At least they still have you, right? I'm sure they're glad for that. <laughs> All right, so it seems almost every week we have a story about be careful what you post on Facebook because they keep happening. People are stupid and keep revealing too much information. <laughs> so the latest in that series is actually something that could really happen to anybody, no matter if you make an obvious mistake on Facebook or anything because everything's so traceable now. Mm -hmm. So recently they arrested in New Hampshire a whole gang of robbers who were using Facebook to target victims. People post on their status, going on vacation this week, are so excited to be, you know, out of work or whatever, not home. And they saw this, targeted their victims, and I think there was something like 18 break-ins that were found out. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's yeah. brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but it's very creepy. It's they're very smart. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's smart, I man. Mean, yeah. I mean, look what technology can do for you. Because, I mean, remember yeah. if you guys, uh, when you're young and you go on a vacation, yeah. they'd all, you'd always, you know, give your, uh, tell your neighbor to, your neighbor to get your mail. Because, yeah. you yeah. know, you, they didn't want you to, uh, you know, have it all stacked or your newspapers, you yeah. know, somebody should pick them up from the door. Otherwise yeah. people will know you're not Exactly. Yeah. And now, uh, with <laughs> something like this, that's that's really yeah. genius, I would say. Wow, well, genius, but they got caught, that's right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. There's actually an app for um, the iPhone. And no, I don't work for Apple. But <laughs> um, <laughs> there, I was watching uh, on another news channel um, yeah. that uh, a family went on vacation and because they had cameras set up in their home, mm -hmm. um, they used an app that uh, recorded what was happening through motion sensors. And while they were on vacation, uh, a couple of guys actually tried to break into their home, and it was broadcasted on the, the father's iPhone. Wow. And he was like, oh my gosh, it felt kind of helpless. Yeah, he was able to call really. the police, right. and they did um, arrive on the scene. But it's That's just kind of so scary. It's kinda scary yeah, you know? seeing yeah. people break into yeah. your house, and you're not even there to do anything about it. I wonder uh. if his status on Facebook was... Yeah. In Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As he was Probably. watching it. Maybe those are the same guys. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, it's, maybe it's connected. Who knows? But I mean, I feel like this could happen. You know, we say before, a lot of people are stupid with Facebook. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you do these kind of things. You don't really think, oh, a robber's going to see my status. No. Yeah. Right? Or someone else will post on your wall when you're yeah, away. Yeah, have like, fun on your trip. Have a great trip. Yeah. Or see you in three weeks. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, I mean, it's just really, anything. it's creepy. I guess technology is now at the point where you literally have to be careful about anything you put out there in the yeah. tech world. Yeah. And it's not even just robbers that you have to yeah. look out for. Um, in a recent study, I heard that yeah, especially in the U.S., yeah. um, employers use Facebook oh, yeah, to yeah. either employ or not employ um, yeah. somebody uh, yep. at, at the particular place of uh, business. Or 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 fire, or fire I read people. an article yeah. the other day on MSN, 12 ways to get fired by Facebook, and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. that, these are wow. all things that could happen easily, right? So yeah. Yeah. be careful, everyone. All right, moving on, but still speaking of Facebook, a poll was recently conducted on Facebook um, by a, an insurance firm in the U.K., and they were asking people, what is your most prized possession? Does any guesses as to what one? It's electronic related, uh, electronic. obviously. Laptop, I'm gonna say laptop. No. Nope. Cell phone. No. Nope. iPod. Oh. iPod was the number one. Blackberry was not far behind. Laptops were also up there. Yeah, so uh, the wedding ring did not fare so well. <laughs> One percent of users thought that was their most prized possession, wow. and living creatures did not fare so well either. <laughs> Cats and dogs are only like five and nine percent. Someone for being man's best friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly, right? I guess got the, a new best yeah, friend. Yeah, the iPod is now man's best friend, so that's kind of crazy, right? It shows you the direction that we're all headed in, <laughs> which is... Not well, such a I mean, good one, maybe. That's why we have the show, right? I mean, yeah. you know, technology is, is what's uh, taking yeah. over now. So. Yeah, so they yeah. also had another kind of interesting little segment in the poll, which I thought was funny. The amount of money that average British citizens will spend on useless gadgets, gadgets that they never will end up using that are technology-related, 540 pounds. So the Canadian equivalent would be like double, double yeah, that. Yeah, like 1,100 bucks. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Wow, 
Isn't that crazy? I think that's pretty more. accurate, though. Yeah, pretty think reasonable. about all the fads and everything. Yeah. Like I think that, it's right? about right, if not more. Oh, yeah. definitely. I yeah. mean, a lifetime. I could see that in a few yeah. years. You know? Yeah. No, for sure. I think so too. So pretty crazy, right? It just goes wow. to show. Yeah, but I mean, when you're riding the subway, everybody you, you sit in front of them. Everybody's got the white earphones on. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. So it's the iPod Nation. Yeah, it is. All right, guys, we're gonna go now. But tune in next week and keep the tips coming in to tech-er.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.